Hey guys, Josh here with Josh and Hunter's Adventures and welcome back to another episode. Today's video, we're doing a little first impressions video on the new Huck Grand Banks rain bibs. Uh, if you're in the market for a new pair of bibs and you run across these and are just trying to get a uh, little more information on those, I'm going to try to share with you some of the features that I have seen on these that I didn't exactly notice on the website that I was looking at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the features about these. Uh, first off, uh, size. Uh, everybody seems to, that seems one of the main concerns on uh, clothing and bibs uh, alike. Um, I'm about six foot, 200 pounds. I went with the 2X model, okay? Uh, this is the 2XL. Uh, they actually fit me pretty well. I will here in a minute uh, show you the length uh, down at the feet. Uh, they're just a... They're just a tad baggy at the bottom. That doesn't really bother me at all. Um, but um, one of the other things, I'll tell you what I was in the market for. I was in the market for a summertime set of bibs. Um, these are not a fully insulated pair of bibs like you would wear in say January or February in the super cold months. I bought these for a summertime or, or late spring, uh, early fall, that kind of weather, uh, rain bibs when I'm out fishing and it starts to rain and I'm not going to be sweating my butt off out there while I'm fishing. Um, so uh, these retail for $149. I went ahead and left the tag on there to show you guys that and I will show you in the camera that right there. You can see uh, I'm sorry, $150, not $149, but I guess it's close enough, right? Okay, so I will tell you what I got these for. That's one of the reasons why I bought them. I got these for $99 off of Amazon. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, great deal on those, got $50 off, so I'm excited about that. But let's go over some of the features about these that I noticed right off the bat. Okay, so the first thing that I will show you is, is that the shoulder straps, Velcro. I like that, so they're super adjustable. I like that both sides are Velcro. Uh, I will show you the back. You can see crosses right there. It's very uh, elastic-like material, so it shouldn't have a problem, um, you know, with hurting your shoulders or anything right there. It's, it's super soft. Uh, they fit up around my chest really well. I'm not baggy in uh, the uh, crotch area at all. Um, it does have a zipper right here. If you need to go to the bathroom, you're out on the boat. You don't have to take these bibs all the way off to, you know, to go pee off the boat. Um, so that's a really good thing. Uh, they did put a little small clip right here. What it's for, I really really don't know. You may find a use for it if you decide to go with these bins. Um, one of the other neat little features that I've uh, seen that I did not see on the website is it has a pocket right here that goes all the way across, okay, to right here. You see right there is where it goes to, and it goes all the way down. Try to poke through here so you can see right there. And on the inside, it's almost like a not really, it's almost like the, the material that's out here. It's a very slick, like rain, rainproof, waterproof uh, material on the inside. So I guess if you wanted to put your cell phone in there, you could if that's, you know, if you do carry it on you while you are fishing and not in a compartment in the boat. Uh, the zipper is super nice. It does seem like it's got like a rubber seal around it here. I know it's going to be super hard to see in the camera but it does seem like it seals, so it's gonna be a, a water to, waterproof um, a zipper of somewhat. Now, I have not had these bibs out in the weather. I will do an updated video once I get out and you know am able to fish in the rain in these. Um, one of the other features that it does have is, it does have a pocket right here, I guess, uh, not sure really what you'd put down in there. There's no way you could put a pair of pliers or anything down in there. Uh, it's just a very small little pocket and there's no hole in the bottom. Um, so it's not, it almost to me it almost looks like it's for looks. Uh, there is a large pocket over on the left side. It is Velcro. 
and it is of the same material that's on the inside. Um, I will say the Velcro on the pockets and up here and at the bottom on the feet, I will show you those here in just a second. They do seem like they're, they're very well uh, made. They're good quality Velcro. Um, but let's go ahead and I'm going to change the camera angle and let you see what it looks like uh, at the bottom of my feet. So I probably won't be all in the frame, but I will talk you through it and I'll show you the bottom. And there's a zipper that the legs zip and then there's a Velcro piece. Okay, so this is the bottom view. I'm standing straight up. I want you to see how what the length is on the two X's. I'll sort of turn around and let you see uh, what the length is on them. Uh, you can see on this side, they do have down the uh, calf area, it does say hook fishing. Um, I'll go ahead and show you on this side, the Velcro that I was talking about, and you have this on both sides. So you have one notch that is, that's how that is there. It's not, you know, it's a little baggier. But you can go the second notch over, and it makes it a little bit tighter. So you can see the difference. I'll turn around a little bit and let you look at the difference. Not, not, not like crazy super baggy, but it is just a little bit baggy. And again, we have a zipper that if you had a pair of, uh, you know, sweatpants on or something like that, that you could zip those to be able to get your uh, pants through. Or if you just was trying to put your, I guess, your shoes on, if you had shoes on or something, that way it would be easier to get through the actual foot area. Okay, guys, so I want to go ahead and show you the inside of these. Uh, what they're exactly made of. Uh, it's a very, you know, slick material. It's some type of rainproof material. I, I really don't know the name of it, but I thought this was a pretty neat little feature. Uh, it's got on here a uh, hook performance fishing. It's got a place where you can uh, put your name and your boat. I guess in case uh, you lost this, uh, maybe someone may find it and know you and be able to return it. Um, I will show you this. One of the things that I, I was not really crazy about is, although uh, a lot of things are, is it is made in China. You can see right there, 2XL hook, made in China. Uh, unfortunately, that is the way it is sometimes. Okay, so one of the other neat features on these bibs that I really like is on the sides, on both sides, you have this Velcro strap that you can see it's very elastic. Um, and if so if you had a sweatshirt on, you can loosen it up and look how much more room that you would have inside. So if you did have a little sweatshirt on, it was a cooler morning, uh, and you just needed a, a little extra layer on top, that would work out really well. Uh, like I said, there is on both sides. Just get it and pull it, and you're back tight if you want it tight, or if you need it loose for that extra layer. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this first impressions video on the new Huck Grand Banks Rain Bibs. Uh, hopefully if you were in the market for these you run across this video and was just doing a little more information to see if these were the right bibs for you. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comments down below. If you have these bibs and you like them or you don't like them, please leave them in the comments down below also. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed, please go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you know when we put out videos. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Josh for Josh and Hunter's Adventures, and we'll see you next time.